Hi, I'm Pete DeQuincy. This is the first video, one of six, in a series that's going to provide tutorial support at training lifeguards on how to secure a passive victim onto a rescue tube in shallow water. From a training perspective, as a trainer, the end objective that we're going for here is that we want to make sure that our lifeguards are proficient at securing a victim onto a rescue tube no matter what type of presentation exists from the victim, meaning that if the victim is face up on the surface, if the victim is face down on the surface, if the lifeguard arrives to the victim at the victim's head or the victim's feet, or if the lifeguard comes from the side, the lifeguard's still going to be successful at securing the victim onto the rescue tube. Now let's talk about what successful securing of the victim on the rescue tube means. What we're looking for is that the placement of the rescue tube solely supports the victim in a face-up position on the surface without the assistance of the lifeguard, meaning that the rescue tube is doing all the work. And if the lifeguard needs to, their hands are free so that they are able to provide additional care if needed. Secondly, what we're looking for is that the rescue tube supports the victim in a way that the victim's airway naturally opens up and remains open. Okay, so tube placement provides the victim's airway to open up naturally and remain open. And lastly, what we're hoping for here is that the victim's arms are placed around the rescue tube in a way that it secures the victim in a face-up position at the surface. So if the victim starts to slide off the rescue tube, the arms are going to catch and hold the victim okay, in place. So why do we want that? Why do we want a victim that is face up, on the surface, airways open, and the rescuer has hands free? What we're striving for here is that we want to provide this opportunity for the lifeguard to be able to do a quick assessment of the victim. And they're going to go for two things. The first thing that they're going for is if there is a need to do rapid extrication of the victim from the water to the deck to provide care, or if there is a need to provide immediate care of the victim while the victim is still in the water. Okay, that's what we're going for. We really want to provide that opportunity for the lifeguards to make that decision. Okay, and if the victim is face up on the surface with their airway open, that provides it. All right, so let's go ahead and watch this video and then we'll come back and do a breakdown for the benefit of those new lifeguard instructors and in service trainers. Here we go. Okay, rescuers ready, victims on the back. Go ahead and start. Just take your time. Nice, looks good. All right, now that we watched the video, let's go ahead and do a breakdown and see what works and what can be improved upon. All right, the first thing that I'm seeing here is we've got a good configuration. We have the victims, three victims lined up with three lifeguards. Um, one rescue tube for each of the lifeguard, which is great. The other thing that we're going for is we're starting this uh, with the victims going to be on their back. And the lifeguards are going to be approaching from the top of the head. All right, so they're going towards the top of the head of the victim. This is the easiest way to secure a victim onto a rescue tube. All right, the next thing that we're going to be looking for here, hold, and we're looking at this for each of the rescuers, is ultimately we want to see their arms in a fully locked position as they place the rescue tube onto the victim. And the reason being for this is if there's a sudden change of status on the victim and they become conscious or active, we want to still maintain that distance of the rescuer, so rescuer safety is paramount here, okay? So locked arms, that's what we're going for. All right, okay, place the tube again. Locked arms could be a little bit cleaner on all three of the rescuers. All right, let's go back here just slightly. Good. Now, let's look here at the placement of the tube on each of the victims. Does the placement of the tube have the victim's airway naturally fall open and remain open? It looks like it does, which is great. Okay, and the last part is the rescuer securing 
the victim's arms around the tube. Okay, and it looks like we had the first rescuer do that, and we had the third rescuer do that, but the second rescuer, their arms are just laying on top of the tube rather than secured around the tube. So we would encourage a little bit more training to make sure that that happens more effectively. And at this position, we would also encourage each of the lifeguards to get down into a quick position near the victim's head to start that quick assessment. Okay, that's what we'd go for. All right. Thanks for watching.